Welcome to the channel everyone, this is CNS Farms and today we're going to be doing a map tour of Pioneer's map. So this map came out about roughly a week ago and it disappeared for console players or at least for me it disappeared off the mod hub. So it looks like they did an update. If we look down at the change log it says re -ferritida timber I have no clue what that even is or what that means I guess we'll have to take a look at it remade purch purchaseable fields and a new game save is required have a good game so we'll just go ahead and hop onto the map and see what it looks okay, like okay so we just loaded into the map so it's pretty dark outside let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit just so we can kind of see what's going on let's go ahead and turn auto save to off and we'll just take a look here at the map first so it looks like we own plot one and then there's all of this map and you should be able to buy pretty much all of the map I do believe except for the water you can buy everything but the water you can even buy oh yeah you can buy the water you can buy the peripheral of the water and all the cell points for 484,000 so let's just go ahead and take a look at kinda what we own so this is the land that we own to start off with got one two three cell points over here and then the whole way over here there is one two three four five cell points and a lime station and then over here also there's the animal daily ship a gas station and what is let's go out of here what is this a gas station and I don't know what that is I we'll have to take a look at it so let's go ahead and actually turn the time back down since it's more brighter out so if we look there supposedly is some new crops added in so there's rice straw beans looks like peas and another crop maybe that's bean I don't know I have to look back at the first clip I took and add that in here but we start with a couple little pieces of equipment a hundred thousand no animals and no contracts on this map so let's go ahead and just walk around here so this looks like a place where you can take out a loan the store is right here why did that shoot me the whole way over here here is a repair trigger and do we start out with a house you don't start out with a house you just own one piece of land let's take a look and see how much that piece is worth I didn't get to check so we got a piece of land that cost 800,000 okay so where are all of our tractors at okay up here so we got this one tractor here well, it looks like we just got all of our equipment just piled up here so this is what all you start out with you start with a plow a cedar a wagon and a fence tractor is this our house or is this just some random person's yard no sleep trigger or anything so apparently you gotta put up your own sleep trigger but over here we have the animal dealer coming here to get your animals and then right here is the gas station is there anything else over here? Is this one of our tractors? It's probably decoration, yeah. So then... Okay, we do have a harvester right here. See, so yeah, this must be our little area right here, so you can probably put a sleep trigger here if you would like. So we got the buys on. So a couple nice pieces of equipment. Let's see, right here is... Looks to be a sub point for milk. Pull that up on the map. So yeah, that is this cell point right here. So I do not know how to say any of these names, so we're not even gonna try to. So you can sell milk there. That's about all you can sell there is milk. If we head over here. This seems to be like a barn. We'd have to check the map here and see. 
Okay, oh, wrong button. So that is this cell point where you can sell your silage, grass, hay, and straw at. So that's about all for right here. I think we're going to buy a truck. Actually, let's just go ahead and take a look at the equipment, even though we already saw it all. So we got the Fent 1300, the Bison Harvester, a TDK 14,000 liter trailer. Uh, what is that? A 4 meter header, 4.2. A 2 meter plow. That would take forever to make some fields. A 3 meter harvester that is not a yeah, direct drill and it doesn't do fertilizer. And that's pretty much all you start out with. You got to make all your own fields. We'll take a look at the land that we own. Probably actually do that right now. Let's go ahead and do like a little flyover because. Okay, so let's see. Where is our land? It was over here to the left. So this is what we own. We own all of this out here. And we do actually have a field the whole way up at the top. So. That must be the created field that they were talking about on the mod hub. So to get to this field, it would be a long drive. So it's a terrible long drive back into town, especially with that tractor, because it only goes 15, and I'm not sure what the harvester goes. But you pretty much own from where? Where is it? From the road here down to here. You still own all this. Pretty much we, our land follows this road up to the water and then the whole way up. We own all this on the left of the water. The whole way up to here. So you could potentially make some pretty big fields in here once you get all these trees cleaned out. But it, it is nice that you start with at least one field. But it's just a ton of forestry. So if you want to play on this map... Hopefully you like forestry. I'm not a big forestry person, so I probably won't be playing on this map. But it would be pretty cool for like a vintage role play or something like that because this is from I think it was 1800s or something like that, 1980s whenever the settlers moved in to this land apparently based on a true story. So we'll just go ahead and buy a pickup. And then all of the equipment that you purchase will pop up over in this little area. So we'll go ahead and drive over to the other cluster of sub points. And then we'll kind of do like a flyover landscape mode to see all of the uh, all of the land that you could purchase. So this is kind of, it's not exactly like no man's land because this has a bunch more sub points and everything like that. But for like the start the startup and everything is kind of like no man's land or like a forestry map like will of mine a forest where you just start out with a couple sub points and it's all forestry but on here you actually do start with a field very narrow bridge so if you want to sell your crops the whole way over here It'll probably take you about 20 minutes to drive in that fence because the fence only goes 45 or the fence only goes 15 miles per hour, so it'll be a quite of a long drive to come over here. And I'm sure the harvester doesn't go very fast. We'll take a look at that in a second. It'll pretty much be like real life farming, the, the amount of time it takes to drive to places. So. If you enjoy that, this would probably be a good map for you to play on. Surprised I haven't wrecked into the water yet. It's a very bumpy road. I like the texture. It kind of reminds you of just an old dirt road with some water puddles in the middle. I think they might have went a little overboard because no road has this many puddles in it that I've ever seen in my lifetime, but I like it. I like the aspect. So, I think we're reaching a first sub point up here. Well, it looks like we have a little shop right here. This will probably take eggs just based on the egg boxes outside. So, let's see. Let's head over here. 
quite a long journey. So we like that is that cell point right here. So let's see, it does take eggs for almost six thousand a liter. That's pretty darn good, and that's this is on normal. So it may be worth driving your little fent tractor the hoy over here to sell some eggs. So yeah, that's all that place takes. See, let's go ahead and tag this. This is where our next one's gonna be, so I can kind of see the name. Cause the names, I cannot read the names. I don't know what language they're in, but I do not speak the language. I like how they kind of have some people walking around, but I think it would be more fitting. I know you probably can't do this, not 100% sure, but if you could have them wearing some older clothes and stuff like that, since it's more based off of the settlers, but I don't think you can do that in farm sim. But so this sub point, I'm pretty sure is wool and cotton, which I was right. Wool and cotton can be sold here. Let's see, we'll head over to this sub point. Let's go ahead and tag that one so I can kind of see the name of it a little easier. Oh wow, it's right over here. So if you head straight over to here, this sub point, We'll take all your grains and potatoes, um, sugar beets, I can't think of that, um, sugar cane, and it'll take them two added in crops. I'll go over them. Whenever I edit this, I'll try to add that in if I can figure out what them crops are. So let's see, where's the next place? We'll hit up the lime, and then we'll head over to... Madria something but it looks like this little conveyor belt right here that heads up here this is where you can get your lime at so you'll just pull under here with your trailer or whatever you got and fill it up so that's nice they added that in I think it would be better though to just buy it from the store because it'd be much closer because if you look here we're pretty far away to drive your tractor from your field which your field is the whole way up here you have to drive the whole way down here just to get a little bit of lime. It probably may be a little bit cheaper down here, but at the same time, time is money. And all the time, I think it's not going to be worth it. So I would just suggest buying some lime. But you guys can play the game how you want to play the game. That's why Farm Sim is so awesome. Because everybody can have their own kind of style of play. So I'm pretty sure this place you can only sell your wood chips and your logs. It looks like a sawmill. And then our last cell point is the same exact name. So is that just for wood chips? Okay, yeah, so that's for wood chips. So you can sell your logs right here at this little area. You can see the little markers here. This is where your logs are sold off at. And then if you have wood chips, you're going to bring them up here and dump them off right here. So all that forestry and a long bumpy ride just to sell off that. It's going to be a lot of trips. A lot of trips. So yeah, I think that's all the sell points. We went over all of them. We did this one. Whatever was this sell point at? We go over this sell point? I think we did. Let's just jump up here real quick. Okay, yeah, this is the barn sell point. So yeah. We went over all the cell points now, let's just go ahead and do a flyover of the map just to kind of see. So right here is the store, and then over this way is our land that we start out with. So if we come up over here, it's just pretty much all open. Well, not really open, but some spots in here are a little opener, so you could not have to do as much forestry to make it a nice size field. But you could have, honestly, pretty, you could have long long fields out here you can make a field this whole entire map if you really wanted to so then you got this little cluster of sub points here and then it's just pretty much all the same just there's a little road that we came through and then up this way is just more of Nothing but trees and potential. 
I like how through the middle there's not too many trees that you have to take out. I kind of like that they didn't make it just flooded with trees how this is on the outside because that would take a good bit to try to cut all them down. They kind of have a little border here that's thick with trees and then the middle is just kind of not as many so it makes it easier for you guys to create your fields and everything. You don't have to do a ton of forestry but I mean looking at the map there is definitely a ton of ton of money to make off of trees a ton of money to make but I think that's gonna wrap it up oh no actually I want to check some, one more thing let's see how fast our harvester goes 13 miles per hour so to get from there up to there that is a long long drive in that slow harvester sheesh Definitely not the map for me, but I know some of you probably are going to build some pretty awesome farms on here, and if you want to share them with me, you could send it to my Instagram, Facebook, and I think that's all I have, Discord as well, yeah, you can send it to one of them three if you build up a pretty awesome farm and you want to show it off, that'd be pretty cool, but I think that's gonna be it for today so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up so I forgot let's go ahead and rate the map so let me see I already saw this let's um see I like the map but I personally wouldn't play on it but I will give this map a I say an 8 I give this map an 8 or 9 it's a pretty cool map I like the concept behind of it how it's a role playing that everybody's settling in here or settlers are coming in so it's it's a pretty cool um background story for it i think that makes me understand the map more and make me like it more so i'll give it a eight eight and a half so let me know down in the comments what you rate the map and if you haven't already make sure you leave a like on the video and if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any future content I may post. This has been CNS Farms. Thanks for watching.